These Northeast High School swimmers are in the middle of a practice, a practice coached by a three time Olympic gold medalist, Brooke Bennett. I reached out to her because we are less than one year away from the 2020 Summer Olympic Games. She admits she was never the best athlete, but she tells me she found other ways to win. Which are you more comfortable at going to? Think of yourself in this position. Putting herself in a position to win. I knew that I had worked harder or I had put in more yardage or I had put in more hours to, to be the best. While possessing an overwhelming passion for the sport. Oh Lord, swimming is like everything to me. Propelled Brooke Bennett to the podium to three Olympic gold medals. One in Atlanta in 1996 and two in Sydney in 2000. Now that it's, it's been 20 years, <laughs> which is so surreal because some parts it feels like I was there yesterday and then other times I'm going like, oh my God, I'm so old. Her energy proves her wrong. Extend the chicken wing out, push off and rainbow the other hand over, go. Brooke tells me she started swimming in her grandparents' pool in Plant City when she was a toddler. Nothing ever grabbed my attention and I didn't gravitate towards anything like swimming. When it was warm enough to swim and many times maybe when it wasn't warm enough, I was asking to go into the pool and swim and I never got out. Like lunchtime, can I just eat in the pool, bring me my lunch here. She joined a swim team for the first time when she was only five years old and she has never stopped swimming. Before I came here to coach, I was at my own swim practice. So it literally starts my day, and if I don't have that in my life, then something is off. Now, in her third year as the head coach of this high school team, Brooke is focused on sharing a lifestyle. What you learn here is something that you can take into your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. It's, it's something that you can do for the rest of your life. As always, if you are aware of a local athlete or coach with a unique story, I want to tell it. You can reach me at my email address, gshirley at wfla.com. I'm reporting in St. Petersburg. Gabrielle Shirley, 8 on your side.